Hello and welcome everybody to my channel Omni Bio Entrance and today we will be discussing Central University's Common Entrance Test MSc Entrance question paper for the subject Plan Biotechnology conducted in the year 13th March 2024. If you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe. If you want still previous year question papers of Plant Biotechnology you can go to my channel Omni Bio Entrance. See the playlist. In the playlist, search for CUCET. In that, you will find. Then, coming to the next question. Most commonly used chemical for the protoplast fusion. It is PEG, polyethylene glycol. Protoplast are cells without a cell wall. Answer is 2. Plant protoplast can be prepared by treating cells with Cellulase, hemicellulase and pectinase that will dissolve off the cell wall. So, you will get the protoplast. Answer is option 1. Fluorescein diacetate stain is used for protoplast viability. This question was asked uh, in 2003 also. Agar in plant tissue culture act as solidifying agent. Answer is option 1. Following sequence is followed for the protoplast culture. Plant regeneration, treatment of cells with enzyme mixture, callus, leaf sterilization. So first will be leaf sterilization and removal of epidermis to expose the mesophyll cells. D. Then treatment of cells with the enzyme mixture. We have already seen that there is cellulase, hemicellulase and pectinase to remove the cell wall. Then you have to go for callus culture and then plant regeneration. So, D, B, C, A. Answer is option 2. Different steps in the generation of somaclonal variation without in vitro selection. So, first will be explant selection A. Then callus formation. Then shoot generation and then whole plant generation. So, A, C, db answer is option 2 following are the disadvantages of somaclonal variation choose the correct answer from the options given below so novel variants may arise that is not a disadvantage variations are cult cultivar dependent that's correct most of the variations are of no apparent use. That's also correct. Variations are not always stable and heritable. That is also correct. So B, C, D is the answer. Answer is option 4. Then next one. The somatic hybrids produced through protoplast fusion needs authentication. Yes. And purification due to very low efficiency of fusion, homofusion and no fusion. This may be performed by the following complementations. Alpha complementation is not used because it is used for protein-protein interaction studies or gene expression analysis studies. Here uh, it is the with regard to somatic hybrids produce through protoplast fusion. So chlorophyll deficiency complementation can be used. Oxotroph complementation can be used. Resistance marker complementation can be used. So answer is option 4 that is B, C, D only. Then first species out of the two used for intergeneric hybrid production through protoplast fusion and the second species out of the two used for intergeneric hybrid production through protoplast fusion. Solanum tuberosum and Lycopersicon esculentum. Potato and tomato. Okay, that can be used. A3. B. Arabidopsis thaliana and B. Compestris. B4. Datura inoxia and uh, Atropa belladona. Oryza sativa and Echinocola oryzicola. So, answer here is option 1. 
a3 b4 c1 and d2 then somatic hybrids where the traits transfer via protoplast fusion nicotiana tabacum so you have uh, you have uh, tobacco mosaic virus resistance a3 solanum species potato virus x resistance brassica species black rot resistance and nicotiana rustica high nicotine content d1 so answer here is option 3 a3 b4 c2 and d1 then terms related to plant tissue culture and suitable explanation of the terms so what are hybrids they are Uh, cytoplasmic sterile lines is fused with another cell line mixing the cytoplasmic genome a3 a3 is there in option 2 only okay b somatic embryos embryos produced from somatic cells micro propagation in vitro development of plants through tissue culture androgenesis development of male plants from anther A3, B4, C1, and D2. Then match list one with list two plants with soma clonal variants for herbicide resistance. Nicotiana tabacum, glyphosate, A3. That is there only in option one. Okay, we will see. Beta vulgaris, imidazoline, zolinon, glycine max. Imaziftafir, Datura inoxia, Chlorosulfuron. So answer is option one, A3, B1, C4, and D2. Nitrobacter species involved in nitrogen cycle converts nitrite to nitrate. Answer is option one. Nitrification is the process of conversion of Ammonium compounds to nitrites and nitrates. Answer is option two. Free living bacteria have nitrogenase converts atmospheric nitrogen to ammonium. Answer is option one. Nitrosomonas species is useful for plants because it oxidizes ammonia to um, nitrites. Answer is option three. Leguminous plants have bacteria for. They have bacteria for nitrogen fixation. Answer is option one. Denitrification is carried out by. It is carried out by Pseudomonas and Thiobacillus. Answer is option. Then nodules for the purpose of nitrogen fixation in non-leguminous plants are induced by. So it is Frankia. Answer is option four. Biological nitrogen fixation is performed by Azotobacter bejerenkia. Yes. Nostra cannabina. Yes. Rhizobium rhodospirillum frankia. Yes. Nitrobacter pseudomonas. No. So A, B, C only. Answer is option one. Biological nitrogen fixation is performed by some. Symbiotic bacteria, yes. Free living anaerobic bacteria, yes. Cyanobacteria, yes. Free living aerobic bacteria, that's also correct. So A, B, C, D. Answer is option three. Then match the following list: host plant with the nitrogen fixing symbionts. So sugar cane. Sugar cane is having Acetobacter A2. A2 is there only in option one. Okay, we will see. Water fern, azolla. Azolla is having anabena B3. Casuarina, casuarina is with Frankia, and Ganneria it is with Nostoc. So A2, B3, C4, and D1. Answer is option one. Then plant with the free living plant growth promoting bacteria. Soya bean. 
Brady rhizobium japonicum A4. A4 is there only in option 2. So that will be the answer. Alpha alpha. Uh, Sino rhizobium meliloti. Clover. Rhizobium legumina sarum and sesbania azorhizobium. So the answer is option 2. Nodule formation in plants happen through different steps. What is the correct sequence? So first will be contact of rhizobium with the root hair. Then there will be curling of the root hair that is B. And then infection thread progression to cortex cells. And finally plant cell differentiation. So C, B, uh, D, A that is option 4. Then next one. The systematic production of proteinase inhibitors in the young tomato plant is triggered by a complex sequence of events. Choose the correct answer from the options given below. Um, synthesis of procystamine on the wound site. B. Then comes synthesis of cystamine. A. Then activation of several genes. No. Synthesis of jasmonic acid. D and then activation of several genes including proteinase inhibitors. So answer is option 3 that is BADC.